Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Fresh Desk Ticketing System. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be new to Fresh Desk here and you're wondering how do you start using it? Well, using Fresh Desk here is actually pretty easy, but there are going to be some things you need to remember here for you to get started. So first things first is you need to go to their official website, which is going to be freshdesk.com. And typically at the top right of your screen, you should see a login or a sign up button or start for free button. In this case, go ahead and click on it and you just need to provide your email the password that you want to use for your account and also some details about yourself like your name and the shop that you want or the uh, company that you're currently in now in this case just to give you an overview uh the fresh desk app here or web app is actually a platform for ticketing so for example if you're running a uh, it company or if you're a service desk uh, they actually help you manage your tickets also give you overviews on what tickets are resolved are overdue and open or just a general just a general idea on your uh, ticket management now in this case uh, by uh uh, nature uh, fresh desk here is a CRM so in this case uh, let's go ahead and get started so in this case this is going to be the dashboard that you're currently seeing so it should give you the idea or the overall idea of what's currently happening on your account or within your team so currently it shows you unresolves the overdues the due date uh, uh, tickets a day, the open tickets, on hold tickets, and on a sign. They also give you the today's trend here, which includes all the your sold tickets received and average first uh, first response time. They also have the other solution with SLA here, and also other information that includes other sold tickets, customer satisfaction, and a lot more. So if you have any tasks, this is where you'll be you'll be able to see the to do section as well. Now, in this case, how do you start creating tickets? How do you serve your customers? And how do you solve them? In this case, when you go to tickets here, you should be able to see all the tickets that you have. So by default, you should see three uh, three tickets here. So we have the email address change, you receive a broken TV, and also the first ticket that you, you'll be receiving whenever you first create your account. Now, in this case, if you want to view their already existing ticket here, you could just basically click on their name or the name of the ticket and you should be able to see it. As you can see, it is going to be a uh, email type of ticket. So if you want to reply to the specific ticket, you can just click on reply. And from here, you can just basically type in your message, add any elements. So if you're familiar with Outlook, it works similar to that. But in this case, once you've uh, written your response, you can go ahead and click on send here. Or if you want to send as resolve, send as close, or send as pending, if you want to change the status itself. Now, for the ticket itself, you have the properties here. So we have the tags, the type, the status here. So if you want to change this like for pending or solve, you can just basically update in here. Just click on update here for you to make your changes. Now, the priority itself, you can basically change this to either low, medium, high, and urgent. Now, depending on what you set here, uh, it actually describes it the, from the name itself. So low is, is going to be low priority, medium, medium priority, high is high priority, urgent. It means that this ticket needs to be urgently fixed. But yeah, so let's go ahead and go back into our tickets here. Now, in this case, we also have this type of uh, uh, type of ticket, which is uh, was sent via phone here. So it's going to say... Uh, it means that this uh, the phone here means that this was actually reported by a phone So this uh, in this case as you can see at the right side here the type of for this ticket here is going to be a question and Some samples on how they actually reply to that So yeah, so if you want your friends on how things work here how to do it or how to respond this is where you'll be able to see it But in this case, how do you create your own ticket here? So before we actually create our ticket, we first have to create our company that we want to uh, service as well as contacts for that. So first, let's go to companies. Now, by the way, the left side here, you should be able to see a uh, person icon, go to companies, and you should, be, you should be able to see this one. In this case, let's go and create a new one by clicking on the new at the top right here and click on company. Now, from here, you need to provide all the information here. Like, for example, maybe I want to say this is going to be a test company here. 
And from here, you can add descriptions, notes, or domains for this company. If they have like a website, a health score here, you could go ahead and do that. Like for example, if this company is happy with your services, you can tag them as happy or doing okay or at risk. Uh, if you're about to lose them, also have the account here here. So basically, basically, like for example, if this um company is actually an enterprise, so meaning they actually uh are getting most of these services from your company so you could tag them as enterprise if they're paying you a lot but in this case we're just going to use basic here you also have the renewal day here if you want to uh, set when their specific uh subscription to your services would be renewed also have the industry option here so for example if they're into automotive consumer durables and apparel and a lot more you could go ahead and do that as well but for now we are good with information because the only one needed here is going to be company name so going to click on create now, once you've done that, you should be able to see the current company here, the timeline. So, for example, if there are any conversations uh, within uh, the company, uh, tickets is where you'll be you'll be able to uh, see tickets within that company if you tag it. And from here, you also have notes. Now, once we've created our company here, let's go ahead and go to contacts. Now, under contacts, uh, what we need to do is we need to create our own contacts. So, let's go ahead and click on new at the top right here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on new contact. Now in this case, maybe I want to say this is going to be a test contact just to give you an idea and you also have the option to add a title as well as their email address. So for example, I want to use uh, this detail here and from here, let's go ahead and add all the SR details. Now in this case, uh, we also need to indicate the company here. So let's go ahead and search for a company here. So uh, in this case, you could choose I'll contact uh, this contact to view all companies tickets if you want to allow them to view your ticket as well so uh yeah so in this case just fill out all the necessary details here so in this case once you provide all the details here by the way i actually actually added the company that we just recently created in here and uh if you want to allow them to uh basically view all the company's ticket you can just click on this one and they will be able to view all the tickets within the company itself in this case, let's go ahead and create this contact here and just click on create. Now, by the way, adding like specific uh, sections here like tags and about would be a lot helpful for you later in the future. Like if you need to uh, reference their work phone, mobile phone or Twitter, external ID, you'll be able to contact them in multiple ways. But for now, let's go ahead and click on create. As you can see, we now have our contact. Now, if this contact is actually or was assigned by, uh, with tickets, you'll be able to see the ticket section here, the notes uh, regarding your account and forums if they have any. In this case, let's go ahead and go to tickets here and we want to create a new ticket. So let's go ahead and click on new at the top right here and choose new ticket. Now from here, we want to choose our contact first. So let's just say it is going to be our test contact here. So let's just add or search for our contact here. So let me just search for the contact. In this case, once you've searched that, let's go and add our subject. So this is going to be a test uh, ticket. And from here, you have our status. So in this case, uh, we want to set this to open since it's fairly new. Priority is going to be medium. And from here, you could choose uh, the groups here like billing, customer support, or escalations. You can even choose the type here. So for example, maybe I want to say this is going to be an incident. And from here, you could go ahead and add your description. So in this case, it's going to be this is a sample description. Now from here, you could also add reference number if you have any and tags if you have any. Like for example, there's going to be a problem. So let's just tag uh, add a pro tag here for problem. And from here, let's go ahead and create this one. So in this case, uh, you could basically create this ticket itself. But if, for example, uh, someone actually uh, was able to resolve it immediately, you could just basically create the ticket and close it immediately. So as you can see, when you click on drop down here, you have create and set as close. So if there's some um, immediate fix that you could do, uh, you could basically do that. But for now, let's go and click on create. Now, in this case, it's going to say test contact here, test ticket. So it, it was reported via phone here. So yeah, so in this case, uh, if you want to change or anything in here, you could go ahead and do that. Like for example, the type here, the status, if you want to update it or the priority if something happens, the group and whatnot. But in this case, you could also add notes or forward this one. So in this case, maybe you want to say, hey, I'll fix uh, the problem. And from here, you could basically just send them an email. So in this case, you could even set, well, like what we saw before, you could set as resolve, close, awaiting customer. But now let's go ahead and click on send. 
and from here it should send the email to that specific customer but in this case it's uh currently since we are just using the free plan here free trial we won't be able to actually ascend or do much in here but in this case once you have done that let's go ahead and go back in here so you can see we just created a new ticket which says ticket here so again, if you want to create a new one, just click on new at the top right, click on new ticket, and you can change your source here if you want to, to a different one. And from here, when we go to our contacts here and go to our test contact, as you can see, we have the timeline for that ticket and the ticket that is assigned or the customer for the specific uh, ticket. And also when you go to companies, it should also appear in that specific tickets and that's with company because that specific person is actually associated in this company here. But yeah, so those are the basics on how to use fresh test here and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.